Hey, welcome to Diode Press. In this project, I'm gonna be making a print of a classic VW Bug. I've loved these cars as long as I can remember, and my first car was a 1969. So let's jump right into this print. I'm gonna be using this basic jeweler saw and these number two piercing saw blades. And a shout out to the awesome subscriber who sent in this jeweler's bench pin last year. It's really been a lifesaver. Now that the copper plate's cut down to size, I can get to rocking it. I've covered this mesotint rocker setup in other videos, but a big shout out to John Saunders over at Saunders Machine Works for machining this bracket for me. It makes breaking down this setup really easy. Now a bunch of hours later, it's fully rocked and ready to move on. I want a really wide bevel on this plate. Beveling the edges lets the paper bend when you run it through the press, so it doesn't cut the paper. But I like the look of a really wide plate mark. I'm marking an offset along the edge so I can keep my filing consistent. After the filing, I'm burnishing the edges to a mirror finish. This will allow the ink to be removed from the edge really easily. I'm going to transfer the image onto the copper plate using the Sorel wax-free transfer paper. And I got a sample pack and it comes in a bunch of different colors. And so depending on what you're transferring, you know, you can pick a, pick a color that works the best for you. I find that the white transfer paper works really well for the copper plates. It kind of really shows up well on there. So I took my rough sketch that I had on the notepad, I scanned it into the computer, and then flipped the image. I also scanned the copper plate, just so I could line it up and get the rotation correct and make sure I was happy with it before I transferred onto the actual plate. So now to get it transferred, I'm just gonna go ahead and place the copper plate on top of the image and just cut it out. I'll just use a little piece of painter's tape here to secure it where it needs to go. There we go. To make the transfer, I'm just gonna slide the transfer paper underneath my drawing, and then just go over it with a pencil. So I've transferred most of the important lines, just the, the overall shape of what I'm trying to do here. You can see it's a pretty good transfer as you look under the paper. So now I'll go ahead and use just a, a soft lead pencil and just go over the lines very lightly, just so they stay because this wax transfer paper will kind of wear away pretty quickly, but you want to make sure you use a really soft pencil so you don't end up disturbing the mezzotint ground as you're doing it, because it doesn't take a whole lot to go ahead and damage all these little points that you put in here.
I'm printing a series of proofs and then making changes to the plate in between as I go, before I go ahead and tear down my final paper and print the edition. And the last step is to cut down a piece of mat board and drop it into a frame. Thanks for watching! To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support this channel, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page, where I post behind the scenes photos as well as other patron rewards. Thanks!